In this video, we are going to learn about quadratic equations. Before going to learn about quadratic equations, we will revise some terms which are constants, variables, mathematical operations, mathematical operations, algebraic expressions, algebraic expressions. What is constant? The one which does not change is called constant, which does not change. Example, our numbers. 1, 2, 50, 100. These values never change. So these are called constants. Next one is variables. The one which has varying according to the situation means its value will vary according to the situation. It will change according to the situation is called variable. To denote these variables, usually we will use alphabets x, y, z, a, b, c, p, q, r, s. Those are called variables. Now, mathematical operations. In maths, we have four basic operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. These four operations are called mathematical operations. Now, what is algebraic expression? The combination of constants, variables, and the mathematical operations all together called algebraic expression. So what is that? Combination of constants, variables, and mathematical operations are called algebraic expression. Example, 5x square plus 7x plus 3, 5x to the power of minus 2 plus 6x plus 7y plus 8z, 5x to the power of 2 by 3 plus 6x to the power of minus 2 plus 9. These are called algebraic expressions. Now, see, if we observe this one, see the powers of all the variables. In the first term, the power of the variable x is 2. And in the second term, power of this variable is 1. And here we can write this 3 as x power 0. So here the power of this variable is 0. All the powers are positive integers. In the first algebraic expression, if we observe all the powers of the variables, those all are positive integers. In the same way, observe the powers of second expression. What is this one? For the first term, its power is minus 2. And for the next one, power is 1. For the next one, again power is 1. Here, this power is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. In this expression, we have four terms. In the first term, we have negative power. So, this is not positive integer. And see the third expression. What is the power of this term's variables power 2 by 3? And in the next term, it is minus 2. Here, this can be written as x power 0. So, it is 0. And again, the powers of the variables are not positive integers not positive integers. If an expression which is having positive integers as their powers, those are called polynomials. Those are called polynomials. So, now we can tell the definition of polynomials as polynomials are the algebraic expressions whose powers of the variables are positive integers. Those are called polynomials. Now, what is a polynomial? A polynomial is an algebraic expression whose powers of the variables must be positive integers. Those are, we can write this one like this, 5x square plus 7x plus 2, 7x power 3 plus 8x plus 4, 5x plus 7. See here, in this we have three terms and 
the power of the variable is 2 here power of the variable is 1 what is the highest power of this expression that is 2 the highest power of this expression is called degree so what is the degree of this expression that is 2 see the next expression uh, polynomial here 3 here it is 1 so highest power here is 3 so the degree of this expression we can tell as 3 and third one here power is 1 so the degree of this third expression is 1 according to degree of the polynomial we can categorize the polynomials if degree of the polynomial is 1 that is called linear polynomial linear polynomial if the degree of polynomial is 1 then that polynomial is called linear polynomial if degree of the polynomial is 2 if degree of polynomial is 2 that polynomial is called quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial if its degree is 3 that is called cubic polynomial so nth if we take nth power then nth, nth power polynomial we can say that now we are going to learn about quadratic equations so that we are considering quadratic polynomial what is the standard form of quadratic polynomial that is ax square plus bx plus c is the standard form of quadratic polynomial where a b c should not or real numbers and a should not equal to zero ax square plus bx plus c is called quadratic polynomial where a comma b comma c or belongs to real number set and most important thing is a should not equal to zero if we equate this quadratic polynomial to zero that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero then this equation is called quadratic equation this equation is called quadratic equation what is the standard form of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a comma b comma c belongs to real number set and a should not equal to 0 so here degree is 2 so the number of solutions for this equation are 2 so x can have two solutions a quadratic equation have two solutions ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is called a quadratic equation. It has two solutions. The, val the variable x has two values. Those are called solutions. So, we can find the solution for this equation by different methods. One method is splitting method. One is splitting method. Another one is completing the square completing the square method completing the square method from this completing the square method we can derive one formula by using that formula we can find solutions of this quadratic equation we can find it easily so that formula is minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a as we discussed before, quadratic equations can have two solutions. Here, see, minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a is 1 and minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a is another solution. We can derive this formula by using this completing the square method. So now we will see how can we get this formula from this one. Ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. For this equation, now we are going to find roots. Ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. From this, I am going to take a common. Then x square plus b by ax plus c by a equal to 0 that implies a will come to this side 0 by a we will get 0 by anything is 0 
So we will get x square plus b by a x plus c by a equal to zero. Now x square plus two by two into b by a x plus b by two a whole square minus b by two a whole square plus c by a equal to zero. See in this equation I did. Here I multiplied two at the same time I divided. So no no uh, value will change. Here also b by two a whole square I added at the same time I subtracted b by two a whole square. Now x square plus two into b by two a into x plus b by two a whole square. See this one. It is in the form of a square plus two a b. Plus b square minus b by two a whole square. The remaining part as it is, I am writing plus c by a equal to zero. Now this is in the form of a square plus two a b plus b square. For this, we know the formula a plus b whole square. So I am reducing this to this form. So a means x plus b means b by two a. A plus b whole square means x plus b by two a whole square. This part that this remaining part we are writing as it is b by two a whole square plus c by a equal to zero. Now x plus b by two a whole square. Now I am squaring this one. B square by two square is four and a square plus c by a equal to Zero. From this, as it is, I am writing x by two a whole square, and from these two terms, I am taking four by a square as LCM. Then we will get here b square minus four a c equal to zero. Now x plus b by two a whole square. We can send this term to this side. We are transferring this from LHS to RHS. Here it is plus. When coming to this side, it will become plus. So it is b square minus four ac by four a square. Now applying square root on both sides. Applying square root on both sides. Then we will get x plus b by two a equal to plus or minus square root of B square minus four a c by what is the square root of four? Two square root of a square is a. X plus b by two a here a square root root cancelled and we got x plus b by two a equal to here applying square root when we are getting roots we will get plus or minus. So square root of b square minus four a c by square root of four a square is two a. In the next step. I am sending this b by two a to RHS. So plus or minus square root of b square minus four a c by two a minus b by two a. So we will get plus or minus square root of b square minus four a c minus b by two a. This we can return as minus b plus or minus square root of B square minus four a c by two a. What is the value now? L H S x. So x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus four a c by two a. As we discussed before, x have two solutions, but here we got only one. No, here also we got two. That is minus b. One time we will take plus square root of b square minus four a c by two a. Comma minus b minus square root of b square minus four a c by two a. So these two are the roots for this quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. By using this formula, we can write solutions or roots of a quadratic equation. For this quadratic equation. Which is a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. Roots are minus b plus square root of 
b square minus 4ac by 2a or minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. From this formula, we can consider b square minus 4ac. This b square minus 4ac is called discriminant. Discriminant. By calculating this, the value of this discriminant, we can tell the nature of the roots. We can tell nature of the roots. Nature of the roots. How can we find that? See here, if b square minus 4ac value is greater than 0, then we will get distinct real roots. Distinct real roots. If the value of discriminant, that is b square minus 4ac, is greater than 0, then we will get distinct real roots. If we get b square minus 4ac value equal to 0, if we get b square minus 4ac, that is discriminant value is equal to 0, then we will get equal real roots. The roots are real and equal. And third case, b square minus 4ac value, if you get less than 0, first case we got greater than 0, then we are getting distinct real roots. Second case, if we get b square minus 4ac value as 0, we are getting the roots are real and equal. Third case, if this discriminant value is less than 0, then the roots are not real. Then the roots are not real. So no need to do a full problem or find out the roots. By finding out the discriminant itself, we can tell the nature of the roots. We will discuss one example. Find the nature of 100x square minus 20x plus 1 equal to 0. Here, 100x square minus 20x plus 1 equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. 100x square minus 20x plus 1 equal to 0. Now, we can compare this equation with our standard quadratic equation. That is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. By comparing this one, write the values of a, that is 100. What is the value of b? Minus 20. Then value of c is 1. Now, we have to find the nature of the roots of this quadratic equation. To find out that, we have to write the discriminant. Discriminant means b square minus 4ac. Substitute the values here. b means minus 20 whole square minus 4 into a value 100 into c value is 1. What is 20 square? That is 400 minus 4 into 100, 400 into 1. That is again 400, 400 minus 400 equal to 0. So, we got discriminant value equal to 0. That is b square minus 4ac value we got 0. Already we have learned if b square minus 4ac equal to 0, the nature of the roots are equal and real. Otherwise, real and equal. So, in this way, we can find out the nature of the roots by using this formula that is a discriminant. And we can find out the roots of the quadratic equation by using this formula minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. In our daily life, we are going to cross about quadratic equations. Thank you very much.